What's up everybody on YouTube Friday, Friday afternoon, just got home from doing my route and I'm uh, doing a water change. I just want to let everybody see what the interior of this tank looks like at a water change. This is 20% down, this is 200 gallons down. See my Stockman's, one there and one there. That's the FX6 still spitting water. I leave it running while I'm doing my water change because the pickup is plenty down below. I've got half inch thick by one and a half, almost two inches, well, almost two inches wide aluminum. I, I picked this up from a from a hobby shop. It goes all the way from the front of the tank to the back in four places. It's very sturdy. It's an awesome top support, top brace. And the lights work very well on it. It holds them up well. And if you can see, there's my spray bar on this side. Front to back on the tank is five feet. Side to side is 10 feet. So I come all the way from the back to the front. I run my plumbing all the way back. It comes through the wall of the tank, the back wall right there. And then I have a, a big 90 that splits and it goes up that side. And then I got my spray bar there. The actual holes are probably almost about four feet of holes that make my my water circulation and my return. And in the back, I have the plumbing coming over with the 90, then down in, wrapping around the two by six top frame, my Euro bracing, with a 45 tucking back to the back wall, and then going down to the pickup, and I have that same thing design on my drain pickup which goes almost to the bottom goes about three inches from the bottom of the tank all the way down behind that log and i've got the two by six euro wooden euro bracing all waterproof along the back two by four euro bracing along the sides and two by six euro bracing across the front it's all waterproofed with pond armor because I learned that a little bit of mold from moisture in the air can get on in the regular wood, so I wanted to inhibit that when I initially built this to prevent that. But I just thought for anyone who's interested to take a look, I've got the J-hooks holding on my plumbing. I picked those up at, at Lowe's. They work just, just perfect for holding up the plumbing all the way along the back and along the side. You can see how they're mounted, screwed in and just holding it up. Nothing spectacular about this video, just wanted to share if anyone was interested, if it could help anybody. And I'm going to say about the front design of this tank, this is a three quarter inch plywood, furnace gray plywood. Right below it, another three quarter inch furniture gray plywood. It goes all the way around the glass an inch and a half onto the glass at all points. This here, I actually have a piece of glass here, half inch thick, coming three quarters onto this, meeting the other panel, which meets it in the middle. Those are sealed to the back of this with silicone, and I have a quarter inch piece of glass, inch and a half, same width of this, straddling them for further silicone waterproofing. Same thing on this side, only this side is this is one continuous piece of glass. This is for aesthetics, I didn't want to look stupid with one beam and not another one, so I made it look like this to look uniform. I was asked how a tank like this can be so strong and not give me any problems if it looks like it's only plywood. Well, the truth of the matter is the entire tank all the way around the back and the sides all the way up to the front is a two by three framing with three quarter inch furniture grade plywood on top of that. There's 12 inch studs, it's built just like walls. This on 12 inch centers is the two by three studs every 12 inches all the way around the side, all the way around the back, all the way around the other side. In the front, behind this here, I have a two by three underneath a two by six. So this is Euro bracing. This cannot, nothing 
nothing can make this flex in and out. And on top, where those braces are, I have these are the these are the aluminum heavy duty aluminum braces, and I also have an angle iron right, or angle brace that's aluminum which they're attached to and it goes all the way across to the back, front to back. So this, there's no flex, no give, no movement in the front of this tank no matter how much pressure is on it. And on the bottom what holds it together is this right here the glass is up to attaches to the 2x3 framing behind here, and I have screws every two inches all the way down it, and it attaches to the bottom all the way along the bottom with two screws every two inches, and these are three and a half inch deck screws. It's glued, screwed, and silicon, and see this here big piece that you see here, this is all another piece of three quarter inch pressing against and glued to the three quarter inch up against the glass and this is attached to a whole big two by eight system underneath here. And then as far as the stand's concerned it is all built with two by six it's like a pier, it's trusses and they don't just go up to it they actually are attached to pieces up between them that are on top of this so if there was a piece right here that's on top of the 4x4s. So I have 18 4x4s pressure treated, these 2x4s, and all of my pier work with my cross braces throughout this entire system. That's why this system is built like a tank. It's so sturdy and engineered to where the stand itself would hold 40,000 pounds. And the realistic value and weight of this tank is about. 9,500 pounds. So, there you have it. I just wanted to give a little bit of a rundown on the design, the build, a little bit of the water change, and share a little bit, update. Thanks y'all. Happy New Year. All is good. Big water change for the fish today. Looks like I left the water draining, so it's going to be more like a 40% change. They don't mind. Just y'all know I have a water system that dechlorinates, takes, takes out chloramines before it goes in. And I also add Novaqua, which takes out the heavy metals. And I'll add a bunch of that with this water change. Anyway, I'm done rambling. The fish are wondering what's up, so I gotta take care of them. Later.